Is your pet get married? Do you need a facility for the big day? You can rent my backyard. I'm Richard and this is Richard's Pet Wedding Facilities. We have chairs and this tarp in the event of rain. There's plenty of space for guests. Look at this beautiful reception area. Look at that dog! Richard's Pet Wedding Facilities. Only the best for your pets. Welcome back to Dino News. I'm your host, Wild Dinosaur. This Friday marks the release of Marvel's Black Panther. Now, culturally speaking, this is a big deal. One that's long past due. In other news, light and dark meat, they all taste the same to us dinosaurs. In other news, over the last couple of weeks, some of the biggest news in Hollywood is that the writers of HBO's Game of Thrones will be writing and producing their own Star Wars series. Now, this is great news to me. I can't wait to see Sean Bean getting killed for the millionth time in a galaxy far, far away. Let's check in and see what's good in weather. It's going to be in the 70s over here and the 80s over here. This heat wave really has me working on the new me. Well, monkey, you're glowing. I'm really impressed by your new outlook on life. I wonder what John's been watching. Let's check in in movie news. This week I'm talking about bugs. Not just any bugs, but ticks. Or rather, the tick. Or Amazon Originals, the tick. Now growing up, some of the comics I remember skimming through were tick comics. I enjoyed those, along with the animated series that followed pretty quick after. Then in 2001, we got a live action series that I loved. Now unfortunately it met its demise after only nine episodes, but I pretty quickly bought that DVD set and I watched them over and over and over and over again. So needless to say, I was pretty pumped when I heard Amazon would be taking a shot at the character. The casting of Peter Serafinowicz was a brilliant move and one of the reasons I was on board initially now he's not Patrick Warburton tick, but there's no need for comparison here. He's his own tick, and it's great, and I enjoy it already. Now the Arthur character, he already has a lot more depth to him than he did in the previous series. Him and his sister have a lot more depth to their relationship, which honestly adds a little bit more life to an otherwise slightly two-dimensional story. Now there's a tradition of basically interchanging all the characters from one version of the tick to another. So we don't really get to see too many repeat characters, which is unfortunate because one of my favorite characters from the previous series, Batman Well, he's nowhere to be found, and it kind of makes me sad. But we get all these other characters like Ramses, who's one of the villains, who's basically a reimagining of Lord Byron from the comics. He's a fun, silly kind of playful villain, but then you get to meet the real villain. He's a staple character from most of the other iterations of the Tick, the Terror. Now he's played by Jackie Earl Haley, and he's great. He's a good menace and good foil for the Tick and Arthur, and he actually plays a huge part in Arthur's story. This version of the Tick is exactly what it's supposed to be. It's fun, it's silly, it's playful, and there's a Don Quixote style innocence to both of these characters that really makes you root for them a lot. Now I was a little bit frustrated with the speed of acceptance in the Arthur character, but then I was reminded that this first season is really the first half of season one. And the next half of the season premieres next week, which I'm really excited for. I can't wait to see what our crime fighting duo has next. Have you seen The Tick? What did you think? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video. For Dino News, I'm John Burkhardt. Thanks, John. Your contributions to society are haphazard and confusing. Uh, didn't you do sports this week too?
Well, I've tried the worming routine, and let me tell you, I've got a nice 12 pack down here. Well, that's it for this week. Come back next time.